Hey everyone, it's Justine the Twilight Stamper and today we're creating an ice cream dream fun card for the Stamp of the Month blog hop for June 2015 for Close to My Heart. I'm going to be starting off with a piece of cardstock and it's colonial white cardstock. It measures eight and a half by five and a half and then I folded it at four and a quarter inches to make a top folding horizontal card or landscape or whatever way you want to call that. Next up, I needed to add my patterned paper onto my card, and this is from the Seaside Paper Pack. This is a really gorgeous paper. This is my favorite one that comes in this catalog. It has this sort of wood grain look to it. The polka dots are gorgeous, and the other side is just this old sort of driftwood bluish tinged pattern that I just love. So I cut that to be four by five and a quarter inches, which fit and gave a quarter inch border around the actual or an eighth of an inch border around the pattern paper. Next I'm going to be using the Ice Cream Dream stamp and this is the stamp of the month for June which is just five dollars with a fifty dollar purchase and it's really a fun card and a really a fun stamp. I really love the way that this stamp actually works with all of its different sayings and images. So I covered up using some washi tape some of the areas of this card and I inked it up using Lagoon ink from Close to My Heart. And then I removed the washi tape so that it freed up the areas that I wanted to stamp in a different color. This is how you can get two colors into one stamp. I grabbed a scrap piece of the colonial white paper that matches the card base and I stamped it down. I really wanted the two words that were in a different font to be in a different color and so I inked those up using sorbet ink from close to my heart and this is sort of an orangey reddish color, orangey pink and then I removed the washi tape that I had laid down there and then I was able to stamp. This was a little bit of work but overall I like the details. I lined up my stamp using my stamp press and I hovered over and then stamped when I was happy. So it, the happiness and ice cream are now in two different colors, which I think looks fantastic. I cut out the uh, sentiment from the scrap piece of paper, leaving a small border around. I wanted to back that up onto a piece of patterned paper from this kit as well. So I used some Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive and stuck that onto a piece of the sorbet cardstock which is matches those two words and this also comes in the kit and I then just cut out a small border around and I just kind of judged it based on my where my paper trimmer was laying and I got a nice even border around there. Next up I wanted to add the sentiment to the actual card so I used some Tombow Mono glue and I glued that really close to the edge of the actual card but before I wanted to lay that down I wanted to add a zip strip. A zip strip is a piece of pattern paper that coordinates um, with the paper pack and it actually comes on the top of the cardstock and it's attached to the patterned paper and then you have to cut it off and you get this really cool border that you can use with your paper packs that coordinates really well. And I thought that just added a little final touch to the card um, that I didn't have before adding that sorbet patterned paper really tied in the sentiment, really tied in the background paper from the sentiment and overall completed that look. Next up I wanted to stamp the ice cream so I stamped that in saddle ink which is a lighter brown color and I stamped it directly onto the patterned paper. This paper also comes in the seaside paper pack. I then went in and I inked up the stamp again and I added it to another piece from the seaside paper pack which is this really great distressed coral colored sorbet cardstock and I inked that stamp up again and stamped the ice cream on the patterned paper. I ended up fussy cutting both of those pieces out, the cone out of the brown and the ice cream from the sorbet cardstock and then I had to glue them together and I added that with some 3D pop dots and arranged them onto my card to make a card that really just matches with all the patterned papers on it and is really cute with this ice cream and the ice cream sentiment. This card is making me really hungry for some summer weather. The fussy cutting is a bit of pain in the butt but overall I found stamping on the pattern paper, which is a technique I don't use too often, really created a nice look for this card. So that's this the final step to this card tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll check out the blog hop for this month. Thanks so much for watching.